Hello and welcome. My name is Kyle for the Winning, and here we are on Black Ops 6. And I am on the PC, which is pretty darn awesome. As I mentioned to you guys in a previous video, I did buy myself a brand new PC. You guys don't want to know how much it was. It was a lot of money, but I am very, very excited to be playing Black Ops 6 on the PC. And I will probably be playing Black Ops 6 on the PC for the entire year, maybe forever. And I'm, I'm just really excited overall. Just a new Call of Duty game on the PC, the best way Call of Duty can look. I'll probably get myself a new 4K PC monitor as well so that we have the full quality of everything. But this is my first episode of the full Black Ops 6 campaign. And I'm really looking forward to jumping into this here with you guys. Uh, we're playing the first mission, Bishop Takes the Rook, in this episode. And yeah, guys, hopefully go to enjoy this first mission of the Black Ops Cold War campaign. Hopefully everything sounds good. Hopefully everything looks good. Without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get into this hopefully really awesome story. And we're going to play it on regular. Let's do it. is eliminated. What already. more do you want, Livingston? Enough! You disobeyed a direct order, Mr. Marshall, when it was clear your op was compromised. With all due respect, sir, you weren't there. And the group that compromised you, the Pantheon, you sure that's who they were? That's what Alawi called them. When are you gonna tell us what's really going on here? I'm asking the questions, Mr. Woods. Sir, if you read the report, you can... I read your report, Ms. Harrow. Some of it I still find hard to believe. That's why we're going to go over events again. Only this time, I want to hear it from Marshall. From the beginning. We were in position near the Iraq-Kuwait border. Small team, me, Harrow, and Case. <laughs> Allow he is ahead of schedule. Whoever he's meeting won't wait around for long. No, not if it's a smuggler. I'm sure Allow has paid top dollar to get himself out of the Middle East. Guess it doesn't really matter. He's coming with us. Outlaw 42, we've got our eyes on the convoy. Paying the target, over. Roger, ground. Target confirmed. Waiting on your go. Over. Do it. Outlaw 42, you're clear to engage. Out. Let's go get him. Copy, ground. Engaging an out. Here comes the traffic jam. Here we are. 
Black Ops 6 campaign. Got it. Game feels good so far. Nice, there's a few guys down there. Alawi's in a black truck. Clear the road. Let's find him fast. Copy, black truck. Keep pushing up, Case. Find him out. I'm not even sure what character I'm playing as right now. Okay. In a search area. There's a few more guys down there. Yeah, this game looks so, so good. I know I'm only at like 80 to 90 frames, but I think that's actually what my, I'm limiting things to. I don't really know. Regardless, let's do this. Get this straight, Mr. Marshall. The group you claim to be, the Pantheon, was a multinational, heavily armed paramilitary force that showed up out of the blue. At this point, you're told to wait for backup, but you decide to play cowboy instead. We had to act fast. Our window Ms. was Harrell, closed. Did he or did he not disobey your order? Yes, sir, but the accelerated timetable. Made... That's what I thought. I've come to expect this from you. Not from you. Sir, our objective was to recover Alawi by any means necessary. Oh, I'm that... aware. So, care to explain why he's on a slab in the morgue right now? Things got... complicated. Who are these people? The Pantheon is composed of former European and U.S. operatives. I don't know who leads them. They're blocking our exfil. We call in reinforcements of weight. Wait? What the hell with that? Barrage coming. Where did your way? No, we're compromised. Alawi will slow us down. Alawi, you going with us to the Pantheon? I'm going with you. Damn it, Troy. Smart man. Case, okay, so let's start by softening them up. All right, we have the equipment wheel. Swap to your carried items to customize your loadout. Press and hold up on the equipment wheel, then equip lethal, tactical, or support items into their associated slots. Okay, press and hold. All right. Got a couple RCXDs. We got a couple flash grenades. Does it want us? It wants us to use RCXD. Okay. Let's get to work, Case. All right. I guess we just go in here and do that. There That's we go. Opening. Let's punch through it. Okay, beautiful. There's a couple guys there. I think, anyway. These Pantheon boys fight. Well, this is kind of a interesting start to a Call of Duty campaign. Usually, usually there's at least some cutscenes and stuff before, but this is they kind of just throw you throw us right into here. We don't really have any context to these first cutscenes or anything. I mean, we of course know who Woods is, but we don't really know anything else about these characters. It's just kind of the intro. run over here sweet oh i did not mean to do that um that's all right we'll just whatever we'll detonate it 
I was trying to do that, get my fire grenades back. Barash, we're getting close. Barash, come in. Are you sure he'll be there? You just worry about not slowing us down. Now, the only thing that worries me a little bit about Pantheon could pick us apart. My frames is that if they do change too much, I hope that it just doesn't make the gameplay choppy, but I don't think it will. This is a pretty beastly PC, after all. If we can play Black Ops 6 with over 100 FPS. I mean, it is at 1080p though, so that probably makes some a bit of a difference. Two. Nice. I mean, we're frying these guys. Let's go. Clear. Rally points to the west. Go. Why the hell did these guys want you so bad, Lowy? Get me out of here, and I will tell you everything I know. Damn right you will. Or I'll kill you myself. All right, jump. In. Meet us at the bottom. Ah. We're good. Everyone all right? Is this your No, 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 no. Adler. Stand down. Even on the run, what, 10 months? Marshall, huh? Woods' new project. You can ease up, son. I'm all done here. Jane? You just killed a high-value target in cold blood and put our national security at risk. Halawi can't fall into the Pantheon's hands. Or Langley's. The CIA is compromised. But it's not me. I'm just the fall guy. You expect us to believe that? Hey, Jane, you want to tape his mouth shut for me? Yes. Wait. I got a message for Woods. Oh, yeah? Tell him Bishop takes Brooke. What the hell's that supposed to mean? Time to go. In the truck. Wow. Hey, so you got I can't say... We'll shoot him down. I can't say I thought... I can't say I knew that hey, Adler was going to be a... At least start off as a bad guy. Okay. I'm trying. Oh jeez. Nice. There we go. Got it. Despite breach of conduct and losing Alawi, apprehending Russell Adler is a categorical windfall. Yes, Ms. Harrow. Bringing in a rogue operative is certainly a win. Russell Adler, the mole who betrayed us in Panama, the man responsible for your current condition, Mr. Woods. So why was he trying to tell you something in Kuwait? Bishop takes Rook. Any idea what that means? No clue. Okay, then. Based on Harrow's reluctant report and the withholding of critical information regarding Russell Adler, your team is suspended. Are you for real? This is bullshit. As for you, Miss Harrow, consider yourself on very, very thin ice. People like me and Adler are the reason we ain't speaking Russian right now. The Cold War is over. Mr. Woods, that makes you and Russell Adler the last global gunslingers of a bygone era. Take this time to reflect on that. Dismissed, all of you. My office in five. I'd advise you not to pursue this further, 
Marshall. You kept it. Not all reminders need to be scars. <clears throat> Why are we here, Harrow? Because you know something? Care to tell me what it is you're up to? I mean, the kids just need some time away. You know, take a little trip. Reflect a little. Look, I can cover your asses on my end best I can. But if things go sideways again, you're on your own. Copy that. Oh, you one. One? Yeah. Try a dozen. Do me a favor, Troy. Don't get yourself killed. I'll see what I can do. Bishop takes Rook. Of course, Woods knew what it meant. Adler was pointing us somewhere. The Black Sea. According to Woods, 15 years ago, he and Adler discovered an abandoned KGB safe house in Bulgaria. It was called The Rook. Last year, before Adler disappeared, he'd been chasing rumors of a dangerous paramilitary group, one receiving orders from inside the CIA. He believed the Pantheon was developing a new type of weapon with plans to unleash something the world had never seen before. And wouldn't you know it, soon evidence surfaced incriminating Adler himself, and he fled to this place. What we found here over the last couple days has changed everything. Now I'm questioning what I believed about Adler, about Livingston, about the CIA itself. I have my doubts about going dark on Jane. Woods might be right about her value on the inside, but she'll be in the crosshairs if Langley learns what we're up to. Adler brought us here for a reason, to stop the Pantheon before they strike. To do that, Woods believes we'll need him back. That won't be easy. But Adler left a name to follow. It's a good place to start. No more wasting time. You know the plan. Savadi Duma, the person you're gonna meet. Still no idea why Adler was in contact with her, but he leads a lead. We can't trust her. I doubt if Adler did. Hell, for all we know, she's part of this fucking Pantheon thing. Who can we trust? Duma agreed to meet Case in Avalon, so we're doing this. Well, well, well. Look at you putting your big boy pants on. Shouldn't we find Adler before making this call? Well, that's exactly why I'm going to Munich to wine and dine your old friend. Friend? Hardly. I can't stand the son of a bitch. But we need him. Sometimes you just gotta hold your nose. If he's as good as you say he is, by the time Case gets back, we'll have located Adler. If Livingston hasn't already stuffed him in a barrel. Our details are up on the board, Case. I'm headed out, so hit me up soon if you need anything. Hmm, okay. I've got a few ideas on how we can polish this turd of a safe house case. Let's talk when you have a minute. Okay, I think, I guess, oh, we need to talk to Woods. We can also talk to him and kind of just explore around if we want. I'm not exactly sure what character we're playing as right now, but yeah, pretty interesting beginning mission there. Kind of... Yeah, I guess we'll just have to see how this continues on. But I guess we'll talk to him first. What's going on, man? Oh, okay. So we get to pick our own dialogue. We can ask him two questions, and then we can kind of get maybe a story type response. So I guess we'll go through all the audio dialogues. Why not? What else can you tell me about the person I'm meeting? Just what we found in Atlas Files. An assassin, maybe 30 years old. Came from one of Avalon's crime factions, the Guild. 
Fear she was raised through the guild and then exiled or left, don't know. Whatever it is, Adler was interested, so I am too. Okay, so we can ask a follow-up, I guess. What about the person in Munich you're going to meet? Felix Newman's a former Stasi engineer and enforcer. Dude managed to crack the military branch of Arpanet a few years back, so I'm hoping he's got a sequel in him. Okay, you dig anything else up about the uh, Pantheon? So far, we've got nothing but Adler's homework. But he could be out of his mind. Whether he is or whether he isn't, those paramilitaries in Kuwait, they were the real deal. Well armed, coordinated, and motivated. Okay. Going to the Well, I guess we can kind of pick here. Harrow's safety. Do you believe Adler? Hell man, I don't know. Seems hard to believe, but maybe I'm just naive. If Livingston's involved, he could have wanted Adler off the board one way or the other. Okay. Worried. Jane's smart. Once Langley knows we've skipped town, she'll make excuses for us as long as possible. Until then, comms are going to put a target on our head, so we'll wait for the time to be right, and then we will regroup. Am I worried? No. The man both loves and hates being told what to do. That's a tough motherfucker in there. Lost his legs in Panama. Lost his best friend. Langley gave him a chance to help run ops, but between me and you, it's not in his blood. Man's a soldier. Killer. His current situation, maybe he feels like he's on the front line again. Okay. You got it. Sweet. So yeah, it looks like we can take a... See you back here on Thursday. Do a lot of dialogue with these guys. But yeah, of course, that goes back to the events of Black Ops 2's campaign, which is interesting because they're technically not connected to each other but i guess i guess they are after all so anyways and of course so it, the seems like the ending of that particular mission when you play the black ops 2 campaign you can either shoot him in the leg or you can shoot him in the head but it looks like the actual ending for mason is that he is in fact shot in the head and is killed